Mortal Kombat! So we revisit Series 2 of Mezco's uh, 6 inch scale Mortal Kombat X figures with Kotal Khan, or Kotal Khan as he's referred to a couple times in the game. Because um, I just got the game! It's December. Yes, finally! It's well, actually January now, so yeah. Anyhow, so Mezco released Series 2 just around the holidays. Um, and yeah, I had to get some of these guys. I didn't even know who this guy until... We already covered the katana. Yes, we did. I didn't know who this guy was, but oh. now we, the packaging will tell you who he is. So Kotal Khan Plus is... spoilers. A... Oh, well, shove it. I, everyone spoiled the game for me anyways. Thanks a lot. Oh, fine. Just have revenge on everyone. Then that's... Yes, it's like revenge porn. So Kotal Khan revenge is Revenge of a... the Brandon. <laughs> you got me saying Revenge Khan. <laughs> Kotal Khan is a warrior from the realm of Oshtek after Shao Khan was killed in the war with Earthrealm, Kotal served as heir Melina. However, her instability eventually led him to overthrow her and assume the emperorship. Dun, dun, dun. So he gets a... what type of ship is it? He has a ship Is with, it a starship? Is it a pirate ship? He's got a... A cruise ship? Ooh, it's a cruise ship. It's just a pleasure cruise. <laughs> Come to the Blood God drinking thing. Sorry. I... Come back to me on this one. We should stop doing videos at 12.30 at night. But the best time. <laughs> so let's open this thing Until up. Can we agree with anything? Yeah. Agree. Or give up. Look, I'm cutting out myself. Yeah, you usually get green by giving up on the options. Do you how? Just rip it off. It goes in recycling anyway. Surgical precision. I probably change that blue really deep. I think he destroyed them. I did not destroy the blade. This is what happens when your blade is dinky small. <laughs> this is why you need the maquito. Mm -hmm. Cut it open. Whoa, do you want a figure left? Yes. <laughs> Don't do the maquito. Maquito. <laughs> well, we're going to get to that. Maquito. Yes, he, he, all so, the maquito. He's actually there. got the, the really game, the really nice. The really nice <laughs> double edged sword package. I have a knife. It's nice. It's got the dragon embossed in it. But it really makes it hard to look inside. You that's can't photograph. Exactly. But who cares? Because we're openers. And then you got another piece of plastic. And here we go. But no twisties because they're really our tape because everything just fell out. Even... Woo! Except so, you got plastic on my people. My people. They even wrapped it for you. Actually, it's really pointy. It is really pointy. That's why they wrapped it for you. So this is Kotal Khan. The. Khan, the leader of Outworld as of MKX. Ow! Really nicely sculpted. Um, Heather Fedress, Heather, uh, Heather Fedress, <laughs> Heather, <laughs> Feather Headdress. <laughs> Feather Headdress is not as prominent as it is in the game. <laughs> he needs it's... a flowers for his headdress. <laughs> I have flowers in my hair. He's a look, he's, no, he's, 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 he's like, I have flowers in my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, except he's got like the skull crotch, like the skull and jawbone, like loincloth. Ow, Jesus. I thought you cut me with that thing. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? I told you it's really pointy. It is really pointy. Okay, we'll get back to you, Maquitol, which I think was Should maybe. I, the director, I think it was actually that. made with actual obsidian Ow. blades. Um, so there, here ah. he is. He's actually really well sculpted. Doing a 360 here. He's got the back. His headdress shoulder piece is really, That's really, really well. Ornate. It is very ornate. Um, clearly, this guy yeah, was. Go back a little bit. This guy was clearly in, um, influenced by Aztec. Aztec looks. Well, yeah, it's definitely Aztec Mayan oh, type oh, yes, architecture. Like. And for anyone who's curious, upskirt, he is wearing a loincloth, red. So you know, no junk, just floating around That's there. Yeah, it's actually really nice detailed. Yeah, but like even oh, like his loincloth really nice. is like, it's just crazy. He's got like the jawbones in it. So I heard these were sculpted with digital files from the game. <gasps> oh my god, our director sculpted himself with the maquitol. You can tell the cinema detail here. Yeah. Like, I really like neck is quality, mm -hmm. but in some regards, I think this might be even above what yeah. neck would do if they had the line. Or, yeah, like pretty much, yeah. Because like, the amount of detail in this guy is just. It's a beaut. It's, yeah. it's a mid This whole line thing. has actually been just really nice. So we'll yeah. get to Quan Chi later, and he's no slouch either. Yeah, like, so, how much do you pay for these guys? Well, 19, 20, 20 bucks. For 20 bucks, you're getting a really nice figure. Exactly. Like, you're getting more than your money's worth in this yeah. figure. Yeah, I mean, he kind of gives figure arts a run for their money. Yeah, definitely. I will rip out the heart of figure arts figures everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they, Too like, soon. This, this line is actually really, yeah. really nice detailed. So what does he come packed with? He comes packed with two. Old, oh no! Our Ashtek leader has fallen backwards. The problem is they don't come with figure stands. No, but he's got hands. These are the fists. So kind of the fisty, the grippy hands. hands. Oh, Kotal Khan, not now. 
<laughs> Not now. Whoa. And what else does he come with? He comes with his... A stone knife. Jeez, that thing is not a knife. That's actually like a small sword. Like a little machete. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Machete. So I'm not sure if it's grievously oversized. I see it in game, it doesn't seem this big compared to his hand, but then again, he can basically carve your chest in two so to get at the heart. So maybe it is this big. And then we have the word of the day today is Machuitl, which is basically a wooden sword club with obsidian blades shoved in the sides. So yeah. this thing is... You got the obsidian sharp. spikes and the obsidian... Blades yeah. and a blade at the top as well. Did for you know grabbing. that they say that some obsidian tools are even sharper than surgical steel and cut cleaner than said surgical yep. steel? So this shit would basically just devastate the living crap out of you, which is perfect in a Mortal Kombat game. So, I just what, this one word of warning: Do not grab this thing hastily like I did when I dropped it. Yeah, or when you threw it at my hand and made marks on my I skin. I don't lightly tapped you with it. Yeah. This thing is actually really sharp. <laughs> it is not a toy, it is a machito. No, it's definitely not a toy. This is a, a display piece. Yes. Do not hit friends with it. Yes. <laughs> like I did. Do not. Only use it against enemies of the war god mode. Ow, Jesus, that hurts. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Look what it's done. This thing is actually quite pointy. It is pointy. It's almost kind of like too pointy, if you yeah. get my drift. So, like, you can not even don't... Like, why It'd be a challenge to grip that. Why I'm are you so gripping it? I'm not what is grip wrong it with you? Even I don't do that, and I cut my hand when I do my victory taunts. <laughs> so yeah, it's well, it's because Aztec and that they had bloodletting ceremonies. Yes, they worship me too, bitches. Which include uh, uh don't think I really want to go into detail of it. Yes, <laughs> I, I think I'll skip that detail. It's, I want to keep this channel kind of family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell them. I'll tell these guys after the video is done. So, anyhow, McWheedle, really nicely done. So, how do you think those page tunes? So, let's see. And we've heard your articulation yet. No, we haven't. And the hands change fairly well. Oh, nice um, tight nice, pegs. Nice tight pegs, nice Honestly, thick, sturdy yeah. pegs at that. Sturdy, sturdy, I was kind of worried. Even. I was going to start snapping things here. That's um, easy. So, basically, he's got a ball jointed head. Uh, he has got a waist. Actually, a pretty good ball jointed well, waist, nice actually. Ball jointed, yeah. Yeah. Um, he's got a ball hinged. Oh, he's got a hibble. A hibble, hibble <clears throat> ball jointed shoulders. Then he's got the uh, swivel, yeah, swivel hinge arm elbows. And he's kind of got the, the kind of like the the rockers. Um, his are a little bit impeded. Um, oh, yeah, the gauntlet. Not as much as like with Katana, yeah, um, and the others because yeah, he's got the gauntlet, so he can kind of fold his hands inwards like this. They can go like outwards. This. But then again, a gauntlet like that will prevent that. Um, but yeah, he's got the hivel. Basically, most of his joints are hivels. Hivels. And then he's got this, uh, he's got ball jointed hips. He's also got a swivel at the upper thigh. I keep using the channel. A hivel is what I call a uh, hinge and swivel. He's got a jointed knee with that, with a, with a swivel. <clears throat> with a swivel. Wow, lots of swivels here. And he's got the, these amazing ball jointed ankles, actually. Which, yeah, the ankles are really nice on those yeah. figures. So again, yeah, so there's no real hinges there, which is really nice. Um, and his sculpt is like, just amazing. Most of the joints are also hidden. Yeah. Like, you know, of course, you see the ones that need very well, but the angle ones, yeah. you don't really see them very well. Yeah. Like, the, they blend yeah, really, really they well. They blend really nicely for a, a figure of this price range. Yeah. No, definitely. I think, I think I've been seeing prices for figures go up, so I've, been, I've found a source of them that's actually pretty good. But this one, I mean, he totally rocks it. And actually, look, he's actually got detailed soles of his feet. Again, yeah. upskirt. Opportunity, yes, um, but you know he's actually got fine detailing actually on his skin too. I can't really get like I can't get over the sculpt. It is nice. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. So so I, obviously the honey came up is the one for the mahito. Mahito, because it's not gonna fit in these hands. No, no, it's too big. So that one's for the knife. These hands are for this. Even this knife is actually really freaking big. <laughs> this knife. This is not a knife. This is a fucking machete. It's, it's definitely machete. It well, is a, he's an Aztec it's type a, guy. It's, it's a you, ceremonial machete. It needs machetes. Yeah, it's a kind of... Actually, that's kind of easy way to pose him. Yes, exactly. He's like, I just cut myself. Now he's the blood god mode. He's just going to start cutting himself. He yeah, the an intervention. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I don't want to start cutting myself. Please. But you're pretty going to pose him like he Machuito, because again, at that, the word of the day, machuito. It's amazing. Look at this word. I love it. Ever since I heard about it on Deadliest Warrior, machuito. Deadliest Warrior is a good show until the uh, first machuito. season. Machuito. Machuito. Sorry, I got that on my system. No, you didn't. Shush.
But no, this is a really good series. Um, again, they're going to have some variants. I think previews exclusives. They'll I've have seen a couple of the Blood already. God version with a really morbid heart in his hand. So nice. I've been kind of tempted to get that one. Just You'll because. probably get that one. Yes. Double dipping at its worst, anyways. Mm -hmm. But um, no, definitely, this is an excellent representation of him right now in this war god, this war god variation, and that uh, that thing fucking hurts. So please be careful around the machuito. Yeah, it's definitely a pointy toy. Yes, and I will display see piece. You I wouldn't all. really call these toys. These are more display piece. I wouldn't give these to kids. Uh, no, but they are durable play. enough. Yeah, that definitely durable. Definitely. If someone wants to play with it, sure, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a durable plastic. Yeah. So again, these are the Mortal Kombat figures I've been waiting for like for twenty years. Yeah, um, is it worth the wait? Yes, yes. Maybe not be my favorite designs for some of the characters, but definitely worth the wait. In terms but the Goldner's coming out, so yes, yeah. So definitely stay tuned for more. We've got one more to cover from series two. His name is Guan Chi, sorcerer from another realm. <laughs> And maybe the variants down the road. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Oh, we got a giveaway going right now. Giveaway. Uh, link in the description for that video. Watch this video and subscribe and enter. Yeah. For Kotal Khan demands it. Have a new one, YouTube, and I'll Shit. see you in there. I dropped my Mahuito. <laughs> I knew it wasn't your system. God damn it.